<coughs> Gosh, can't it come with to me? <laughs> Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. That's a bit croaky. My my croaky my croakiness is covered up when the organ is playing. <laughs> Right, my name is Joan Mary Thomas. I've been in the choir now, let me see. Oh, 70 years. I used to be a teacher. And when I retired, I said to myself, oh, no, what am I going to do? So I was a bit down in the dumps and I got in with a friend. So she said, Joan, would you like to play golf? I said, golf? Oh, I don't know about golf. So we start going around. Well, I don't know how many times we missed that ball. You know, golf is not an easy game. You take your stance and you, you get ready and then you have a practice swing and you have a beautiful practice swing. And you go up to the ball, next thing you could perhaps just flop it, just goes down over the, over the tee box. You have those days too. And you have days that you go out of bounds. But even if you have a bad day, you know what happens. You go back the next day and try and correct it and maybe it gets better. Not that we all want to be Tiger Woods and stuff, but we want to do our best. I was only winning when everybody else was playing badly. <laughs> I'm the oldest swinger in town at the moment. <laughs> My husband thought I was mad because he didn't like to play in the rain, but Joan would go out in her Wellington boots to play golf because she liked it so much. <laughs> Let me see, 50, 66 years you've been married, you know. Two years in uh, November, this week, November the 30th, it be two years since he's not been. And um, so I live alone here. It is really hard because He's gone. So I go over every fortnight to the cemetery, put fresh flowers on, on his grave. And then I've got a son who, unfortunately, um, is there as well. Um, I, I'm trying to live life to the full, but um, no, not easy, you know, to lose, lose, lose a loved one. Mm. Well, one of the worst things, I think, is to um, stay away from people. Just want to curl up and, you know, and think about what, what has happened and why, it, why did it happen to you or them or whatever, you know. But um, I think meeting people helps. Meeting people helps a lot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Get involved in the community. Everybody should take part in the community. And, and it's healthy for you, isn't it? You know, you're making friends. You, you, your mind is, um, what, healthy, I suppose. 
I'm not perhaps right over, I'm going over the hill, but not right down. <laughs> I like um, doing crossword puzzles. Sometimes I cheat, because sometimes it's so difficult. If, well, let's look what this, and then it's taught me something. Why do I do it? Well, I, I think I do it to keep my mind alert. Now tomorrow, if I'm okay, I've got my eggs out, and we're gonna make a little Christmas cake. Because if any of my friends call a Christmas show, they're gonna say, well, have a cup of tea and a piece of cake. Thank you so much for watching this week's film. We really appreciate all your wonderful comments. It really helps to motivate us wanting to make these films even better for you guys. If you would consider donating towards us and helping support us, just click on the link below.